Hey guys, you just here. So I found an issue that can cause a lot of problems for people on a lot of different computers with Armor Forger. And I wanted to put together a quick video to show you how to fix this particular issue with just a simple command. So hopefully it should take more than a couple minutes for you and will save you a lot of heartache later on. So with that, let's go ahead and get to it. So the problem that I've detected has to do with mods and where mods are downloaded with Armor Forger. So if you look, I've downloaded three awesome mods here. And if you want to know where those go, default, the mods will go actually to this PC documents my games armor forger add-ons folder you can see the documents right here in the add-ons folder the problem is is that as we get more armor forger mods that's going that folder is going to fill up and this my documents folder is very commonly on whatever hard drive that you run windows on so for me it's a c drive so the problem is once the c drive starts running out of space that can cause your windows to start running slowly could cause crashes with games and eventually it can make it to where windows doesn't function at all so we do not want to be downloading mods to there, especially because a lot of mods are getting like 4K textures. If you played Armor 3, you know how it goes. Mods will eventually grow and grow and grow until you're using hundreds of gigabytes worth of mods in these folders. We don't want that. So this command is going to change exactly where these add-ons are saved into some other hard drive or some other place that isn't going to cause your Windows drive to totally get filled up. So with that, let's go ahead and show what that command is. Now, before I show you the command, I am going to go delete these files out of my, my documents folder. You just shift delete to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this off to the side. But to use this command, you're going to go up here to Armor Reforger in your Steam library. You can also do this from the desktop shortcut if you want by right clicking and under target using the same command. But we're going to right click Armor Forger here, go properties. And down here, we have launch options. Now, there are a lot of launch options for Armor Forger. And in fact, they even have a website that will show you what the startup parameters are right here. I'll put a link for this in the description below so you can find this and go check it out. But the parameter that we care about the most is the add-ons dir and add-on download dir. So what this is going to do is add-on dir, it's going to start up and look for mods there on startup. And add-on download dir is whenever you go to download a new mod, it will download it to this particular drive. So I've already set these up, so I'll just copy and paste that in and I'll show you exactly what this does. So dash add on stir and then I have E reforger mods. So what I've done is I've gone onto my E drive, my giga drive, which is just a big drive that I could save lots of stuff very high speed. And I made a reforger mods folder. Now I've done this already in the background. So you can see as add on, you won't have add on there yet, but this is where I want it to save all my add ons. So if I look here, I put an actual, uh, I can't remember what the, what's called the, the complete reference to it though. E colon slash reforger mods. That's my E drive, right? I did the same thing for add on download drive. So once I put that in here in the launch options, I just close this and go ahead and hit play. Okay, and once I load up Armor Forger, I go to the workshop and I'm just gonna download a couple mods. I'll download Bloodlust and I'll download this uh, Mark 18 mod. And yep, yeah, th those will start downloading. Once this download's finished, we're gonna go see if it downloaded to the right spot. Okay, and the add-ons finished downloading. So I go here to my Giga Driver Forger mods. It creates an add-ons folder for me. And I look in here, and of course, I have two folders for those two add-ons. So now every time I download an add-on, it will go into another drive, and that drive can get filled up without crashing Windows. So this is definitely very, very important as um, we get more and more mods and more and more add-ons get created. If you want to start making mods by making missions, definitely check out this video over here on the right that's going to show you exactly how to make your own missions in Armor Forger for you and your community to play. Also, I'd love to know down in the comments what other launch options are you guys using is there any other cool launch options that you think everyone should know about share them down below and the best ones i'll highlight with some pinned comments thanks guys this is useless fodder out of here have a great one